Hi. Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. I do thank you for tuning in, and I certainly hope that peace and blessings have been upon you and your family this evening and throughout the whole entire day. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get right back into the seeds to grow success. Right now, we are in chapter number nine, which is entitled Success Secrets from Top Producers, Tales of the Farmer Next Door. And it goes, like this. Work hard and become a leader. Proverbs 12, 24. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. Bruce Lee. I interviewed four trailblazers in the in industry to get the inside scoop on what they did to become successful and maintain success. Through their stories, you will also discover their inadequacies and challenges. In addition, these profiles will Identify the people in their lives that contributed to their success. It is my desire that you hear your thoughts and see your own reality in their stories. In so doing, you will realize that their story can be your story as well. Michael Dip Osquel. The Pasquel? I tried. And Michael, if I messed up your last name, I apologize. But I'm going to spell it for you. It goes D I P A S Q U A L E. And is it's at www.m his last name, D-I-S-P-A-S-Q-U-A-L-E dot com, 2007 Realtor Magazines, 30 under 30 award, third year in the business, average sales volume, 5.3 million, main, main source of business referrals. Real Estate 1, South Lyon, Michigan, salesperson. We are in the business of lead generation. The rest is just details. Fear was the main factor that contributed to Mike's successful transition from rookie agent to veteran agent. When Mike was a mere 22 years old, he was laid off from his sales management position after he had recently purchased a home. As fate would have it, he had been studying for the real estate exam and thus was able to get his license and start to build his business soon thereafter. For Mike not knowing the source of his next, next mortgage payment drove him to success. Desperation has a way of making you do things you would not otherwise do without lots of coaxing. When faced with the need to succeed, only restless abandon and focused commitment to your goal will set you free. For this young lad, his age was perceived barrier to rise in the industry. 
Mike was nervous that people would not trust his real estate knowledge because he was so young. He was so convinced of this that he used to tell himself, if only I were 40, my sales production could be higher. Over time and through experience, Mike developed more confidence in his abilities and his age was no longer an obstacle to keep him from his goals. Notice that I use the phrase perceived barrier because although Mike is still relatively very young, he is now a trailblazer in the industry. One false impression about success that Mike would like to dispel in this misconception that life is easier once you are running a successful real estate business. According to Mike, my life was a hundred times easier when I was broke. Hmm. He no longer worries about the mortgage payment but now tosses and turns at night thinking about business-related concerns. The lesson that Mike has learned is there are no short, excuse me, the lesson, let me try that again. The lesson that Mike learned, the third time's a charm, let me get this straight, y'all. The lesson that Mike has learned is there are no shortcuts to success. Nothing happens fast. It is all building blocks. For him, however, it is all worth it because he sees his hard work paying off. Mike faces reality about being a real estate agent. We are in the business of lead generation. The rest is just details. The well-known activities of the business, like showing property, writing contracts, and securing lock boxes, are a mere 15 to 20 percent of his business activity. To remind him of that fact daily, the sign on his computer reads, Your only business is lead generation. Mike makes it a point to stay focused on revenue generating activities and away from things that consume his time with no financial benefit during the work day. Staying on time and on schedule can be a challenge to a busy real estate agent. But on day-to-day -day basis, in the absence of an assistant, Mike uses his PDA slash phone combo and laptop to keep him on top of to-do list. Appointments and prospecting with his contact management database. Mike has benefited from various coaching styles during his rise to the top. Utilizing individual and group coaching programs as well as extensive classroom style training. Mike business coach proved not to be the fast talking salesman type but rather genuinely cared about his personal and business success. Therefore he made a huge impact on Mike's business. Being at the pinnacle of success in his life right now, Mike gives a credit to his aforementioned business coach, to his managing broker 
who believed in him from the very beginning, and to the loan officer with whom he has developed an affiliate relationship that has grown to be his marketing and accountability partner. And that does complete our first top producer. Stay tuned for our next top producer here on Poem Praise 2. I'll give you a mention of the name just to let you know what will be next coming up. It's going to be Nina Shane or Nina Shine, C-H-E-N. So stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 and we will be uh, going on to Nina and the next top producer. We have finished this much of the book. We have this much to go. Yes, we're almost done with this book. Show you right. So I want you and your family uh, this evening to be blessed. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. And I will talk with you soon here on Poem Praise 2. So until next time, until next time I talk with you, later y'all.